I'll do it again. I'm 25. I'll do it. I don't care. That's traumatizing. Generic control in the Dr. Goody's Moo here, back with another Odd Ones Out reaction. Today we have my mom's cruel and unusual punishments. This video came out four years ago and has 54 million views. It was actually the most liked comment suggestion from last week's video, which was tabletop games. I'll leave my reaction to that right up there. Also gonna link down below in the description, also gonna be not in a playlist on my channel. I don't really do those for like, not really one-off videos, but like non-series uh, videos, I guess. But I just do a random odds one out video every single week. Patrons get them a day early, literally three dollars a month get you all my reaction videos a day early trying to hit 100,000 subscribers for the year 2023 which we can do it it's very possible i'm just gonna need a lot of your help so if you're not already subscribed i would really appreciate it i upload a lot of videos do it all myself did 100 videos for month of december and i read every single one of your comments so if down below in the comment section if you see a video suggestion that you also agree with definitely like it to let me know kind of like your way of voting if you don't see it down there definitely leave a comment i will absolutely read it and add it to a mental list of uh what i should do in the future so definitely leave a comment even if there's one that has like 40 likes or whatever but i hope you have a wonderful day hopefully i can make it a tiny little bit better but let's go ahead and jump into cruel and unusual punishment all right mr james on what did Saturday his mom do to him at 10 3 a.m you were observed coloring a picture of a dinosaur is that okay true? Yeah. yes can we go to recess even <laughs> though your mom had repeatedly asked you to clean up your toys you disobeyed her and colored anyway that's uh, it's a kid. Uh, I tweet the fifth. Your Honor, the kid I knows no the fifth. Questions. James, I hereby sentence you to 15 minutes in the timeout corner. Oh no. I'm not going back to timeout. I'm no scientist, <laughs> but I think moms play a very important role in society. Yes. Without moms, who would drive us to soccer practice? Who else oh, yeah. would tell well, us that's okay did. to eat cupcakes was, for breakfast? Uh, like and who else would point at construction thing. workers and say, that's why you need to get a college education, They James. make more. Oh, and I guess they also give birth to you and take care of you, but like, pfft, my sister in law is now, giving birth right now. I was raised, I just want to give out this <laughs> literally at the second. My mom is a great mom. She loves me, at least she used to. If you asked me when I was 15 if my mom was a good mom, 15 year old me would have said no. Okay, really? Like, oh, when I was wow. Little, I'd be talking with my friends, and we would be talking about our parents, and they would say stuff like, Yeah, my mom lets me stay up till midnight, and she lets me play really graphic and vulgar video games. I was able yeah, to play video games. My mom doesn't care if age. I wear clothes with skulls on them, and she lets me eat an entire tub of ice cream for dinner. My mom lets me play with knives. Ooh, I used to think that their moms my, were so much cooler letting my, my friends have that much fun. But now, Did as an adult, I didn't have I realized parents. the sad truth that these kids' moms weren't cooler. They just cared about them less. I'm not saying every mom out there is wow, born, but a mom who takes the time to make a responsible member of society is pretty high up on the good mom list. Yeah. Anyways, I love you, mom, and you know, now I'll immortalize and monetize some of that love. When I was younger and still <laughs> in need of adult views? supervision, yeah. my mom would take me and my twin sister out to run errands. He has a twin. And as you would expect, we were rowdy and wanted to do our own thing. But nope. my mom was prepared for this. She would bring two plastic baggies filled with 10 M&Ms, M &M, and every what? time my sister or I misbehaved, she would eat an M&M right in front of us. <laughs> she made sure we saw her eat our M&Ms. She didn't wow. give us a warning either. That just sounds like an excuse for her to eat M&Ms. She would say, hey, hey, look at me. <laughs> and I think that <laughs> How dare you? is the psychological reason that M&Ms are my favorite candy bar. <laughs> oh. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Oh, Something you candy. me and my sister really liked doing was hiding in those circular yeah, racks. Yeah, every kid. Oh, my God, yes. Stores. I Being did that all the time. one of those racks is such a surreal experience. I totally recommend it. I'll do it again. It. I'm 25. Like I'll do it. I don't fun, care. So she had to reach her arm in and try and grab us. Do you need any help? Oh, no. I'm just trying to get something in the back. There's a really nice belt that would be great for spanking my misbehaving. Child. I got hit with a paint a, a little wooden, wooden too bad. Wooden I stick. probably deserved it anyway. Like you used I don't stir paint cans from Home Depot. Actions I did that earned a spanking, but I do remember outrunning my mom a lot. Another thing my mom <laughs> did when I was very little yeah. was sometimes when she was washing her hands, she would turn to me and go a chew and flick water. Why? In my face. It really bothered me, but I never spoke out about it. And one day I just That's couldn't handle it anymore, and I started crying. Oh. Why are you crying? But I was too <laughs> sad to articulate how I was really feeling. <laughs> okay. If you ask her about this today, she'll say that she doesn't remember doing that sneeze gag ever, but I remember oh. it vividly. So to get yeah. back at her, I put a rubber band around the dish. My there, brother so did this to our mom. Sink, it would spray water at you. Yeah, <laughs> he duct taped it. I do it. remember one reason I was spanked. 
Every time my one brothers of my did siblings it. insulted another I didn't sibling or told them to shut up, we would have to pay them 50 cents. This resulted in a that. really weird dynamic no, when it came to insults. Washed out we would get excited soap, when someone times. called us a name. Mom, Luke called me a butthole! That's 50 mm. cents! Yeah, no, we didn't do that. But sometimes us kids would just be messing around with each other and we didn't How much really this video made. insults. So we would feel bad taking someone else's 50 cents. Like someone would say, Hey James, what's six plus six? And I would say, uh, nine, idiot. And my mom yeah. would hear me and say, James, that's fifty cents. And my sister pay would feel them? bad, so she would insult me back and say, James, what? you're an unpleasant. The, so is it a net? Uh huh. Is it swear net words cost like you $5. equal? That's why Ooh. I don't swear in videos. But now I can afford it. So <laughs> you, mom. <laughs> wow. My mom never washed her mouths out with soap. She did, wasn't yeah. that kind of person. Oh. But she did threaten to if we swore. And one time after I said a pretty naughty word, penis, she <gasps> said, if you don't behave, I'm going to get the soap. And I said, I don't care. Soap tastes good. All right, you <laughs> Wait, big dingus, shove this in your mouth. You won't do it. No balls. So I get <laughs> into it and immediately regretted it. Now people oh, are eating up. soap for views. Yeah. So I guess we never grow up. Did anyone else's parents put a password on the family computer? Because my parents well, did, and really. I didn't know we were the only family that I wasn't allowed to have a YouTube a account until, like, I was 13. We were 13. only allowed to be on the family computer for however long we read a book for. But luckily, I would just read a book for 15 minutes. Maybe that's why I don't know how to read. Password, and then she would just forget that I was on the computer, and let me stay on forever. What, son? And I played a lot oh, of Neopets rooms. Oh, man, I remember Also, I wasn't dial allowed to have a TV or a computer line. in my room. I had a TV in my room. Because then I would have easy access to inappropriate... Animes. And then when, when I, I was, was in little, high school, I got a laptop. Were yeah. a thing, but my mom didn't let me got a phone when one, I was. So I had to talk to all my friends over a landline. I hope I don't have to explain what that is, because that would make 20... me feel really old. Christmas I'm supposed 2010? to be in the prime of my life. But basically, it it meant smart. if I was upstairs was in my phone. room talking to a friend, my mom could grab a phone downstairs in the kitchen and just join in our conversation completely uninvited. Oh, God. No matter who I was talking to, I'd be having a conversation like this. I think the reason I internalize and hide away all my problems oh God, is because of how invasive my mom is in my personal life. Hello? James, get off the phone and do the dishes. Mom, I'm on the phone. Wow, I can't believe you said that to the person who gave birth to you. <laughs> so what do you two losers talking about? Luckily, I would almost <laughs> never be talking to a girl. So at least, yeah. that didn't happen. This other Thankfully. time, my mom was giving me and my sister a ride to school, and on the radio, she was listening to the worst subgenre of rock music. Oh, what? Christian rock. Oh. Just kidding, you can like whatever you want. Anyway, we were pulling up to the school, and I told my mom to turn the music down. What? Why? I heard Jesus I don't cranked it up. I think I listened to this, Mom. You see, I was in junior high, so I cared oh, a lot God. about what other people cared about. So she turned the music they, they down. They cared about anime? No, they did not. They bullied the anime car, kids. She turned the volume all the way back up and blasted the music Carrie for everyone Carrie Underwood? To hear. That's not... I don't... I wouldn't say that's Christian. Also, it's not rock. Looking back at the situation, I think that's pretty hilarious. Yeah, GG, Mom. Yeah. These aren't all the times my mom embarrassed me. But those are all the ones I'm going to include in this video. I didn't even mention the time when I was four when my twin sister wanted to do ballet lessons, but she didn't want to do them alone, so my mom signed me up for lessons too. But that's a story for another video. That's traumatizing. Look, mom, you made me like this. And there you have it, everyone. <laughs> that was my mom. Again, I just want to say that despite whatever I say in my videos, Six million? That my wow. mom is a great mom. I wouldn't be here without my mom. Exactly. She also reads all my scripts, so all of my <laughs> videos are James's mom approved. Okay, well, what? I shouldn't say that. She does tell me to take out a lot of jokes, and I'm like, no, they're but they're funny. Uh, and also, speaking of my mom, my mom's birthday is coming up. So happy what, early what? birthday, mom! Aww. And if you guys wanted to wish her a happy birthday, that'd be cool too. <laughs> I was serious when I said these aren't all the times my mom embarrassed me. I no, definitely I'm sure have enough material to make a part two. Does he make Again, a part two? I love you, mom. Thanks for not being one of those moms that are like, no, you're not allowed to be an artist. You have to finish college and be a doctor. No, my parents let me news, leave college after five days. If you can't get days. enough Odd Ones Out videos, I mean, then you should check out the Odd Twos Out. It's Captain Sparkle shirt. A couple shirt. days ago, I posted a video where I answered the riddles, so out. that was a lot of fun. Also, thank you to not the as good as the Duck Goose, too. Color the color of this video. Nude. You Only guys dance. should all check them out. And if there's anything you should take away from this video, is that you should always call your mom. Um. And wear your seatbelt. And wear a seatbelt. Absolutely always wear your seatbelt. <laughs> Let me know if your mom had any cruel and unusual punishments. I didn't really, yeah, didn't have any cruel and unusual punishments. I think it hit with the belt. I was, it was a paint stirrer. And it was mostly something my brother did. Yeah. And my brother got me in trouble a lot. He also put my head through a wall. He also do a sledgehammer through my door. Um, yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. I mean, my brother had a weird childhood. Well, my brother. I mean, yeah. He put my head through the wall a couple times. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Put a sledgehammer to my door. Yep. Yeah. I was just playing Call of Duty, playing on Overgrown. In a private chat on Xbox 360 with my cousin playing video games. Here, knock on a door. What? What are you doing? Call of Duty? Okay. Five seconds later, sledgehammer and a majority of my door come flying into my room right in front of me. For no reason. For no reason. For no reason. So we got a, a sawzall, cut out a rectangle, and put one of those little things, you, like a light diffuser you have in like a school for like the fluorescent lights. Yeah, and duct taped it to uh, my door. <laughs> it's still like that. That happened... Uh, that happened, over, was it 10 years ago? It probably happened 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, man. I really hope you enjoyed this video, though. Let me know about some stories of your childhood or your mom's punishing you or just cruel things that have happened to you in life. But I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Hopefully, things don't happen to you anymore. Hope you subscribe to 100,000 for the end of the year. But until the next video, take care and kitty music. We were playing an asshole